Welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Robert Broom. Several new members of the North Carolina Board of Transportation were sworn in this week, bringing with them years of experience, as well as a commitment to service to our great state. The North Carolina Board of Transportation makes decisions about statewide transportation priorities and funding allocations. There are 19 members of the board, 14 represent NCDOT's geographical divisions, while five at-large members represent specific interest areas. These areas are state ports and aviation, rural transportation, mass transit, government-related finance and accounting, and the environment. Governor Roy Cooper appointed the new board members. They will serve four-year terms and will work with NCDOT employees to make important decisions about transportation priorities. The board elected Michael S. Fox of Greensboro as its chair and Nina Slosberg-Landis as vice chair. We'd like to work with all of our DOT staff to deliver projects on time and, and on budget uh, and also improve the safety on our, all of our modes of transportation. Okay as well as reduce congestion and make people's lives better in North Carolina. More information about the board and its members can be found at ncdot.gov slash about slash board. Daylight saving time begins Sunday, which means cyclists, drivers, and pedestrians need to be alert during the morning commute. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports the change in time causes drowsy drivers to have more than 100,000 crashes each year. The administration also estimates that the dark early morning commute results in more than 1,500 deaths and 40,000 injuries per year. Here are some tips to keep safe when you spring forward. For drivers, get adequate sleep before driving and take a break every two hours on long trips. Bring a passenger with you to share time behind the wheel. Be aware of medications that could cause drowsiness. Look for bicyclists and pedestrians along the roadway. For bicyclists and pedestrians, wear brightly colored clothing with fluorescent or reflective gear. When riding at sunrise, bicyclists are now required to have a light on the front that can be seen 100 yards away and have a red lamp or mirror on the back. Cyclists should drive in the same direction as vehicles. And to see oncoming drivers, pedestrians should walk facing traffic and walk in crosswalks where they are more visible. That's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. As always, we invite you to keep up with us on Facebook and Twitter. That's at NCDOT. And from all of us at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.